What's up everyone, my name is 7beats and in this quick video I'm gonna show you how to use the stems extraction splitter tool in Apple Studio. So first you make sure you're dragging the sample into the playlist. You can open up the playlist right here. And then I've downloaded this sample, which is an old soul sample. And I could use this one to show you how to extract the separate stems. So let's have a listen to the sample. So we can hear a vocal, a instrument, and we could also hear some drums. So those are the layers which we're going to separate. This icon right here and use the left or right mouse button and then select extract stems from sample under a sample. Then this window will pop up and then you first make sure you select all the stems you want to extract from the sample. We can hear some drums, we can hear probably an instrument. We could also extract a bass because I think a bass guitar is playing. And there are also some vocals. So the estimated time is 10 seconds, but if we, for example, enable limit CPU usage, it will be 20 seconds. But in this case, let's just disable it. And we could also select some more settings. On default, let's say do nothing. And then let's select extract. So right now we've separated all those layers. And as you can see, this one is the main sample. And Apple Studio put the separated stems into track five, six, seven, and eight. So let's disable this one and let's listen to the separated stems. That sounds pretty decent. And right here, as you can see, this one is labeled as bass. So this is the bass guitar. Also sounds really clean. Let's listen to the instrument. And the final element is this vocal. So as you can see, it's very easy to separate the stems from a sample. So keep in mind, Apple Studio is still in beta mode and this function is also still in beta. So it could be improved or the settings could be switched up. So you could, for example, extract a guitar specifically. So those will be things which I think will be added to this function. But that's it for this video. I hope I helped you. I hope they showed you how to do this. And if you have any more questions, make sure to drop them in the comments and I will answer them. And I hope you have a great day, create some awesome music and maybe see you in one of my next tutorials.